Hello everyone, and welcome to Farming Sim 17. We have soybeans, so we're going to dump them off in our tipper. And I'm going to talk like this for the entire episode. And it's going to be really exciting. So everything I say... Okay, let's, let's uh, move on from that introduction. Uh, if you look in the top right of the screen... You'll notice that I did quite a few missions at the end of last time, off-camera. I just sort of kept going. And we have enough to buy Field 19. There we go. So we can buy Field 19. Let's start getting these soybeans picked up. So we can buy Field 19 turn it to grass, or we can turn field 14 to grass once we have the sunflowers done, and then um, turn, and then buy field 19 for more crops. And the reason I would do that is so then we can hire workers and get a lot of grass at one time, and hay and stuff. Uh, it also it's really good for silage bales, which actually make quite a bit of money. Uh, someone also said if we just clear these trees, we kind of have a lot of grass already, which we already did here. We just can't hire workers uh, workers to do that. And since we're going to be pretty busy with all these other things, we might want that option. But once I did the missions to make the money, all of a sudden I didn't really feel like spending it on a field when I could spend it on equipment, right? Uh, so I'm sort of at a loss for what to do, uh, but let's go check out that field anyway, just to see the price of it, because I don't remember. Okay, so it's down to 41000 so it, that'd leave us about $4,000, or we can invest all this money in animals and not buy anything and just use this for grass since we're still pretty new. Which is what I'll probably do. We can also turn field 14 to grass and then just revert it back to crops whenever we want to since we don't have to plow like we used to. Like it's... Uh, yeah, I, I, I keep thinking... Uh, I need to move this loading wagon before the harvester gets stuck on it again. Yeah, I keep thinking of grass fields being super permanent like they used to be because you used to have to use a plow to turn them back. You'd have to create a new field and uh, basically just go back over it. And it was basically such a big pain that you would never do it. But now you just have to use a cultivator. So it's really easy to just go back. We also need to wash this. This is getting disgusting. And we'll still have field 12 for soybeans. And then we can use field 15 for like any other crops we need. If we need some wheat, we can we can plant some wheat on field 15 since it's a little smaller. Yeah, I think I think we are. So we'll get these sunflowers grown and harvested. We'll test out the headers. And then I think we're gonna revert revert. I think we're gonna convert 14 to grass. I just thought, yes, I think that is this the decision I have come up with. I've talked myself into right now. I think we can go put these tippers over here, because we don't need them. And then, let's see, should we pick up grass, should we go buy animals, what do we need? If we look here, soybeans. <gasps> Look at the price of soybeans right now. Okay, we're going to back this up and pick up our tippers again. We need to take this over to the train station. And we are going to make about... Let's see, what was it? We have about 25,000 soybeans. So we'll get, make over twice that. So we'll make 50... And then a tenth of that would be... Or no, not a tenth. A fifth, right? Hmm. Which should be ten. So we should make about 60,000, right? I don't know why I'm going on this side. 
There we go. So let's fill this up. We. This is why we grow soybeans. Purely for money. Is that hayloft going to be in the way every time? Did I set it just a little too far this way? It's, it, it might be. Alright, we just have a few more in here, and then we can empty out the tractor, or the the uh, the combine there. And we'll go sell. So actually we'll have about 30,000. So we'll make over 65, 70,000. That's going to be a pretty good haul. And the fact that we have no loans to pay back is always exciting. This is the one problem with the tipper trains, is trying to line them up alongside a harvester, but I got the skill, so we uh, we did it. Now we just wait for it to empty. We can see it emptying right there in the harvester. And there we go. Alright, this is going to be fantastic. Let's check the price one more time. 2267. But we gotta go dump this at the train station. And then we have to take the train over to Maplefield Mill. I still think it's incredible that I can have the front loader attachment and something attached to the front. And I played so much of this game without doing that. Anyway, I should pay attention to where I'm driving. Oh! I want this tree gone. That tree right there. Oh, maybe we can uh, we can buy our uh, placeable, maybe. So we'll have the money. We'll see. I, I love getting money. I just love spending. Getting all new stuff. It's so good. Okay. Now we empty the tippers. Then we'll fill up the train. Then we'll empty the train. So yeah, what I'm thinking, we'll have over 110,000. So we could buy that placeable, that 77 whatever thousand dollar placeable, clear out some trees. That'll make us some money back, not a ton, but a bit. That'll empty out. We can get on the train here. You can climb everything but a ladder, I guess. You can climb trees, you can climb buildings, but if you have two steps, nope. No luck here. Try a different day. I just want to jump on top of the train. Thank you. Alright. Let's do this. Is it shorter to go backwards to the mill? Probably not. It's probably close. It's probably closer for the sawmill, but oh, still got a few more. Before I do this, I should be having this one sow some soy. I think it's large enough. Can't quite remember. Oh, it yeah, it can. It's just really slow, but I think we're gonna have to do it. Oh, we could buy a new tractor with the with the new money. Since this one costs so much day to day, we could sell this and then buy an upgraded tractor that costs less daily. That'd actually probably be our best. Oh man, I'm so excited to just look into options for spending all this money. But first, slow soybean planting. Slowly but surely, you know? Um, I don't have the trains selection on. It's easy to turn on. But if I don't mess around, we'll get there very quickly. And then we can drive. I'm driving a train, driving a big old train, pedal to the metal, hope I don't get stuck in the rain. 
name that artist. Well, actually, I'm sort of badly parodying. Well, no, that... Uh, okay, he's a parodier, but that song is not a parody, right? Weird Al's truck driving song. Of the Running With Scissors album. Oh gosh. We may fly right by this one. Oh no, we're fine. We can probably actually stay about this speed and unload it. As long as I'm paying attention. Look at all the money. 115, okay. Um, gosh, we don't even need to take this back. Yeah, we don't need to do that. Okay. Let's drive this. Well, let's look at tractors. So if we want an upgrade from... I think we have this one. Yeah. So if we sell this, we will get around 15, 18,000. Um, because I'll take it into the shop. Which would give us 130. Which means we could buy the N series Voltra. And I have the Lamborghini. So how how good of an upgrade is that? Uh, let's see. 92, 125, 107, 145. We could take out a little loan and buy this T-Series, which I know is really, really awesome. I have not bought a Deutz yet in this game. Hmm. Hmm, 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 hmm. Okay, here's what we're going to do. We're going to do it. We're going to buy a tractor. So let's get to the right menu. Is there anything else we could sell so we don't have to take out a loan? Uh, not really. I could sell some barley. I mean, wheat. That would get us about 15,000. Well, let's. Okay, why do I keep going to the wrong menu? Okay, we're going to reset this. I know there's... F oh, okay. Okay, let's enter this. We can unhire him. Oh, he doesn't have a front loader on. That's awesome. So, let's reset. Let's sell it. We don't want it. It's costing us... 620 a day, which actually isn't terrible, but... Other tractors should cost less than that. Like, a third of that. So let's sell this, see how much we get. So we'll get 18.6, which is actually pretty good. Um, sell it. Now, 134. Is there any tractor on sale? No. So this is where a loan becomes important, the fact that we can take one out. Because I could take, you know, 40, 50,000 out and buy, like, an actual really nice tractor. Like, I could get this huge... So this would be equal to our Lamborghini. Like almost identical, except for 35 liters of uh, fuel less. Um, we could also, let's see, 134. We could just buy this, which is actually fine, but man, I just feel like if we have that much money, we might as well get a really good upgrade. We could sell a couple pigs and get this, but Let's do this. I really want this Deutz. Yeah, I know it's the same as this, but it's still a huge upgrade. We'll have two really nice tractors. Uh, mm, but then I don't have money for animals. That's okay. We'll have nice tractors. It's fine. I want this tractor. We will get this tractor. Let's take out a small loan. That's why we have them. So, so we'll borrow 50. We won't go crazy. I think I actually need one, uh, 55. We'll get this awesome new Deutz Far Series 7. Oh man, we could just buy two Lamborghini. We won't though. Oh, we're gonna need a little bit more than that. So we need this, we need the front loader. We could spend 
So we can always upgrade this for pretty cheap and make it pretty powerful. We won't today. Wheel setup, I think we can just keep that the same. $10,000 for a warrior design. I don't even know what that means. We're not going to do it. Someday we probably will. And bye. Oh my gosh, I'm pumped. So this is costing us, what, 240 a day instead of 600? There we go. Look at that beauty. Let's go to the farm. Oh my gosh. A nice shiny new... Oh, sorry. Sorry, guy. A nice shiny new tractor. Let's see what the inside's like. Oh, man. That is spotless. Look at all the gadgetry. That's how you know it's good. All right, to the farm. All right, now we can pull this sower with a little more appropriate speed. And some of you may have disagreed with my idea and my decision to get a new tractor because I know there's a lot of things we could buy. We we need a back mower. Uh, I really want that placeable. We need animals. However, we are now pretty much set for tractors. Like, we have two really nice tractors. We may have to give some cheap, um, like, engine upgrades. But I don't think we'll need a third. And if we do, it can be a little smaller. And I don't think we'll need a new one for a while. So we won't have to even think about tractors for a while. We have these two pretty nice ones that should be able to get all the jobs done that we really require at this time. Um... And now all the the rest of the money we can always um, we can start paying off our loan again. Even though it's only fifty, it won't be too bad. We can start saving up for a mower because uh, I want that back mower. We'll need a windrower, all that stuff. We need new animals. Maybe I'll just go buy a pig. I'm just gonna go buy a pig. Pig visit R buy pig confirm done. Look at that buying pigs left and right. Buying pigs like it's my job. Let's empty this out. There's not too much left. And basically we just kind of restart the whole soybean cycle. Alright, so we're going to put this down and go pick up our corn header since we are going to need that. We also need to uh, make sure we have money to lease the sunflower header. So yeah, I called this the corn header, but it does both, so we can use this for sunflowers. But next time we are going to test, as long as the sunflowers are grown by then, which I would assume they will be. I can always speed up time a little bit. So next time we'll test the difference between... Oops between the corn and sunflower header and uh, the sunflower only header. So in case that was a confusing sentence, which I think it kind of was. By the way, these headers are terrible. I had to use one for the for one of the missions last time. I think it was this one. Ugh, it was terrible. Like three meters? Are you kidding me? Get out of here. Uh, anyway, we're going to test not the huge one. Um, So, I have this one. Yeah, we're going to test between this, which does both, and this one is just as this. Right now, we can see the difference. This is 9 miles per hour, and this is 6. But some people are wondering if there's also a yield difference, or if it's just the speed. Uh, but we'll uh, test it out once these are fully grown. Let's check on... We don't need to check on that. Let's empty this. We could probably pick up some eggs. Yeah, looks pretty full. From this distance... I wonder if it's time to maybe go sell. Um, how many do we have in our backpack? 128, so we'll get about... 1200 I think it's $11 an egg, so we'll get about, I don't know, almost $1,300. Um, let's see. I always like to go here. 
and then we just walk north right there. Oh, 1459. I'll take it. And now... Did we empty our soybeans? No, we did not. Because we had to pick up some eggs. Take a little trip through the barn. Wait. It says I can unload here. Does it sell it if I unload it here? Or is it just going to say you can't unload it here? Yeah. Okay. I thought that would have been a little overpowered. And... There we go. How much is an auger? People have been mentioning these lately. I've never bought one of these. Yeah, you can use them for seeds and fertilizer. I didn't mention that in the pallets, but people are asking if... You can load a sower with this, which is, I guess, maybe possible. You couldn't with the conveyor belt. Um, so if I miss that, I'd feel bad, but... You know. It's always something. Alright, let's go put the tippers over here, and then next time while the sunflowers are growing, maybe I'll do a little more mowing. Since that needs to happen as well. Ugh, how are our animals doing? I didn't even check them this time. Just fine. We do need more silage, which is why we need grass. But that's not too bad. Alright, let's end the episode with morning. So the sun sets there, the sun rises here, and... Whoa. Well, we won't greet the sun today due to fog. Foggy conditions. These are almost ready. Uh, corn. Oh, we have corn. Oh, that's actually a really good price for corn. That would give us $10,000. Probably not worth it, because then I'd have to replant corn. So let's go to 30 times speed, and next... Oh, these will be ready to go next time. That is wonderful. Hey, that... We got 40... Look at that. $4,320 yesterday for our greenhouses. And we have 5000 bucks, so we can either pay off some of our loan or buy more pigs. I think we should probably take a little dent off this. Oh, I don't need to save that. Okay, that will be a day. We'll end here on this foggy, foggy, some weekday afternoon. I don't really know what it is. That day they don't tell us. Have yourselves a very nice day.